ethereal wanderings. Luzar. What kind of beast is this? Hmm. Paxel Tech. I can share my wanderings with you. But first, I seek the knowing, the truth of nature held within your ark. You want to answer? So I will ask. Answer these questions true, sweet beast, so that your ark may be known and your eye may open. And do choose wisely. Answer from your heart. You and your youngest kin often go hunting, but the younger has never felled a mark. One day, a magnificent beast appears, and they cannot tell who shot struck true. You know that their shot flew into the bushes while yours found the beast's heart. But out of pity, you tell them that they struck the killing blow. Upon your return to town, your kin proudly claims the kill and is offered a job by the town butcher. Do you allow the butcher and your kin to believe your deception? Or do you admit the truth? Now let me think. Oh, yes! It is wartime, and you and your two children, ages eight and five, live in a territory that has been captured by the enemy. Among the enemy is a Lamir who performs painful experiments that inevitably lead to death. He demands one of your children, the weaker one, giving you 24 hours to bring them to his laboratory. If you refuse, Enemy soldiers will come for all of you. Do you give up one of your children? Or face the threat of enemy soldiers? Hmm. You have fallen madly in love with an immortal. Your love for them is so strong, you know them to be your destiny. To be with them, you may eat from the Tree of Life and become immortal as well. But your family and everyone else you care for cannot partake. They must grow old and eventually die. Do you abandon your mortal family? Or live out your days without your one true love? Fascinating. Your daughter has been killed. The murderer is arrested, and after many years, they are sentenced to death. Before the sentence is carried out, they come to you and explain that they are truly sorry, and they ask for your forgiveness. Nothing you say will change their sentence, nor bring your daughter back. Do you forgive them? Fascinating. A powerful and determined warlord is about to set fire to a crowded cigarette. You have his eldest son in your custody. You could stop the warlord by hurting his son, breaking his arm and threatening to do worse unless the warlord relents and gives himself up. Do you torture your hostage or let the crowd fend for itself in the fire? You have chosen your path, sweet beast. Your heart is true. May the power of the doe's eye free you from your incarnate shackles. In the arc of every being, there are two eyes. We may see out of either, but most favor one over the other. The Ravager's eye is dynamic, driven, and endlessly hungry. Yet for all its power, its vision is clouded. The eye of the Ravager rarely sees beyond its own satiation. Like an animal chasing its tail, it knows no rest. The Doe's eye sees only what is before it. The gift of the Doe is subtle, easily missed. It is a most mysterious presence inside oneself. 
conferring power without force, just as the doe itself cannot be sought, nor tracked, nor hunted. By answering true, sweet beast, you give me a wink, and now the gifts of your dominant eye will be open to you. Hmm. Would you care to hear a tale? It is about those who see as you do. I will tell you of Ramaril, the servant child of the Vaunt. I found Ramaril as a babe, large and angry as only a hungry babe can be. Nothing became of him as it happened. He grew from a great crying babe to a great quiet pan. He served without word or complaint. None knew his name, for though one might thank the creator of a meal or a washroom, who even considers the child who merely cleans up after? When the Krell came, they laid siege to the temple. None could escape nor call for help. All were doomed. The Doe's eye opened in Ramaril that day. He was no fighter and had no training of any kind. But he lifted the largest shield he could find and told the others to run once he'd made a way. He drove dozens of Krell over a cliff and himself with them. Later, his masters came to me seeking to know more of this boy who had saved them, whom I had laid at their doorstep. I told them many stories. One might even consider them true. Before we go any further, I must ask. I sense you carrying something. Something that belonged to my sister. That ring. Why do you have it? It is my sister's ring. This can only mean one thing. You killed her. Ah, then mortal misunderstands. What you destroyed was not my sister. Not as I knew her. The root had... consumed her. She suffered in that form. You... have freed her. On behalf of all of my sisters. Thank you. Keep her ring and treasure it with our gratitude. <sighs> Truly? Thank you, sweet beast. You will be forever honored among us. However, I cannot let you go empty-handed. You should have this. Now, what can I do for you? Is there... Anything else? Knowledge of me? Of our wonderful world? You stand before Mirdra, spirit of the natural world, daughter of stem and stream. My sisters and I are the glorious weavers of all wild beauty. When mountain, spring, and sturdy tree trunk take your breath, sweet beast, that is us. That is our blessing. An immeasurable number. Mother Stem and Mother Stream rely on us to sprawl and grow. Though we don't often commune with beasties such as you. Not in this age. Especially not since what happened to Kaula. A tragedy beast. Tragedy most cruel. Kaula was fascinated by mortals by your lives and stories. Unlike most of us, she made herself no secret, and you worshipped her with your short lives, even built her a house, a temple, you called it. The Root found her there. We godlings are not easily unwoven, however, and it slew her not, but perhaps it would be better if it had. For what remains is no longer the sister I knew. But we hold happy thoughts. Regret only wastes one life with another. Is there something else we can talk about? By day, 
A dappled glade of emerald branch and golden leaf, carpeted by downy moss. By night? By night, sweet beast. The trees bewitch the lost and inebriated. Or so it was before this age of extermination. How I long to return to play. This age, for me, holds only decay. Very well, sweet beast. Be on your way.